San Antonio 911, do you need police, fire, or EMS? I'm not real sure, ma'am. Um, I just watched the biggest crit. It, it, it was a critter, but it it smelled real bad. I'm a homeless female. I live right in the middle of the woods, around 151 to the north of Claybro, and 1604 was the lightest. This big thing was 75 feet away from me, smells awful, devoured a whole deer carcass, and then took off and, like, screamed, screeched, and took off across the street. And I know you guys are going to think I'm crazy, but I'm dead serious. There was something very big, bigger, a lot bigger than me, <laughs> out here. So, it's probably something you should know. I really okay. don't know what you can do about it. Uh, how long ago did this happen? This is, uh, I won't, like, immediately, like, I just, yeah. I don't know, animal control, I mean, it's... Okay, huge. again, now tell me, where was it, this is at 151 and Calibra? Okay, yeah, like, you know, the light at 151, just up from Calibra on 16, like on 1604, where 1604 split, and you can get off on the access road to Calabria, or you can take 151. Right. That light right there is, yes, right in there. It is a very large, hairy animal of some kind. <laughs> now, was it standing on two or four? Or? Well, if I told you it was standing on two legs, you're going to think I'm crazy, but I'm serious. It ran off at breaking limbs and trees. And it kind of screeched, howled, and a very creepy, scary thing. Because, like I said, I, I live in a tent, um, we're in the woods. So, you I live never... in a tent? Yes, ma'am. I'm a homeless female. I live in a tent in the woods, and I just saw this freaky, scary, very large creature devour a deer and run off across the road. So, uh, okay, I don't know. Is there any way that we can have an officer contact you? Uh, yeah, I guess it's this number. Um, but I'd really prefer, like, animal control or somebody bigger than me. But I appreciate it. I just thought somebody should know that there's a very large animal in the vicinity. Now, the deer was walking around and... No, the deer was dead. And it got devoured. It was a carcass. Okay, and do you see signs of, of, of a dead deer, blood, whatever? Um, actually, ma'am, um, uh, I'm not, I'm not going to go check it out right at the moment. Is okay. that okay? <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> but... like, I'm waiting for daylight. I got, I don't own anything but a machete and a hatchet, so I'm kind of creeped out. I just thought, like I said, I thought somebody should know there's a very large something big enough to eat a deer and as a Are predator. Are you with someone there? Uh, yes, ma'am. Did they see it too? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. How about if I have an officer contact you guys out there? Um... I'm not going to leave my camp right at the moment. I mean, I if they want to come look at the light, she wants an officer to meet us. Um, yeah. But still, <laughs> we're not leaving where we're at, is what we're trying to say. Oh, I'm a little God. bit scared and it's raining, and um, I just want somebody to maybe check it out in the okay. morning when it's not dark. Well, that almost cool, dude. What I can do right now is I can have an officer patrol that area. Which direction did it run? It was it ran across um, the, the light at 151, like towards the water tower on two feet, like my husband said. Something very weird. I just wanted to make a documentation and have the animal control. Had you ever seen or heard anything like this before? No, ma'am. No, I've lived no, in the woods yeah, no, for a while. I've lived in the woods for six years. I'm going to tell you right now, I've lived in the woods for six years. I swear to God, I've never seen nothing like this. This so, was bigger than me. And it, it had a very odd smell. I'm, I'm, I'm six three. I'm six three. It's bigger than me. So, uh, yeah. It's bigger than six foot three. Yeah. 
is very large. I, I, I carried the carcass off. Yeah. What did, so, he, what did he say? He carried the carcass off. I mean, oh, he carried like, it with okay. nothing. Like just, like, I want to believe that it was a large cat or bear, but I'm, just, 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 I'm thinking I'm not going to tell you what remember. I think it is. Cause what does he think it is? What, what do you think it is? Well, I'll tell you what, I don't know. I would be a liar if I said I thought I knew what it was, but I don't know. But I know it picked up that deer and walked with two so, feet. Yeah. It's a very large something that smells bad and is bigger than we are. So. Okay. So you saw it walk in which direction? Oh, running or walk in which direction? Uh, towards the light at 151 and 1604. It went towards the water tower. It went towards the water tower area. And it screeched. How uh, yo yeah. <laughs> when it it went yeah it, when it it worked up, I mean my my husband's a very large nothing's ever scared him ever <laughs> and uh, I mean we both saw it so what's good it's been fun, fun no, no, type of, no type of clothing or no no it was for okay or. As, as far as I can tell, I mean, it's a pretty light night out because um, of the overcast. Mm -hmm. And uh, we doubt our that. fire. And I have, a like, a, a blanket thing hung up as it a cabin thing. And it And I it saw it over the top of that. And when it ran, it cracked branches. Trees. Yes. Birds. Like... I, like the size of a grizzly bear. Imagine that. But on steroids with two feet. So, you yeah. two feet, mama. I, I know. I just know what. Okay. And did you, oh, and what is your name? Jennifer. Jennifer. Yeah, it's raining now and we can't hear nothing outside. It's kind of scary. Yeah. Okay. All right, we'll have an officer patrol that area and see what we can find. I, I, mean, say, I know, I mean, you guys might be able to find something. Animal control might be able to find tracks or something in the morning. It's hard to find tracks on this area because it's own area right not. Right uh, right she said she's going to send a patrol around the area. So, right here. Right. and yes, she can call. Get you the light and control. Get you the light. Get you the light. Sound of firing. And sound your firing. Okay. He'll come out of the woods. <coughs> and talk to you. Well, I'm scared to get up, Pete. Okay. You guys, you guys have your tent set up at 151 in Calabria? Um, I mean, not exactly, but yeah, I mean, it's go in the, the area. Just go to the light and sound, sound the firing. firing, and we would hear you where we're at. And I'll come, I'll come to you. At 151 and 1604, right? Yes, ma'am. Okay. All right. All right. Thank you. You're welcome.